Hello, hello, it's John, your movie madman, and I'm back. So today is so cool. You have no idea how cool and exciting and amazing today's video is going to be. Uh, I'm going through my top 15 4K Blu-rays, and by top 15, more top 31, but it's done differently, all right? So before you start digging at me saying I can't count, I can count, all right? Don't give me that. This is a top, my top 15 4K Blu-ray in categories. So there's more than one film in some of the categories. So I'm sure you'll, I'm sure you'll get over it. All right, and if you don't, then, well, what can I say? I don't, I don't care. All right. So we're going to start by counting down from 15. All right. So my number 15 is a quiet place. One and two. Uh, I have done reviews on both of these films, as you probably remember. So you know why I love these films in 4K. And if you think, oh, I haven't, I haven't seen those videos. Well, you can go back to them, and you can watch them. All right, and then you'll find out. Number 14 today is uh, is is the Wizard of Oz. This is the oldest film on my top 4K Blu-ray list. But that's one of the reasons why it is on my top 4K Blu-ray list. Just because it looks so good. Even the the uh, the brown bit at the beginning, sepia tone I think it's called. Um, that looks amazing on here as well. And the transition from sepia tone to colour looks really good. And obviously the colour side of it looks really good as well. So... The Wizard of Oz comes in at my number 14. My number 13 is the very unappreciated The Great Wall. Now a lot of people will be like, why is The Great Wall on any top list of yours? Because the film's poo. Well I tell you what, the film is pretty poo, but in a good way. I enjoy it. There's really cool monsters in it. It's a really nice still book as well, which I got pretty cheap, so I was quite happy about that. The 4K side of it is absolutely amazing, though. They did really well to blend in the CGI with the real stuff that was going on. It doesn't look fake. Good looking monsters. Good looking greens in there. That's right, I said green, not red. It's just great. All in all, I really enjoyed it. Coming in at my number 12 is District 9. I uh, don't remember if I've done... 4k review of district 9 before i saw this in 4k on prime video before i bought the 4k disc mainly because i saw it in 4k on prime video but like i said before i don't have the most amazing internet connection in my room so it kept dipping in and out of 4k goodness but i could tell that when it was at its 4k goodness that it looked good so i went and i bought it watched it again and I had the 4K goodness all the way through. So if you like District 9, it's definitely worth upgrading to 4K. Coming in at my number 11, I did a review for this uh, last week, week before, I believe. But my number 11 is 300. One of my favourite films that contains the most amount of grain that fits in so well with the style of movie. As you probably know, if you've seen my review for 300, but it's a good film and it's a good 4K transfer. And the grain goes really well with the era, the era that the film is made in. My number 10 is, is an interesting one. Because my number 10 is the first 4K Blu-ray movie I ever saw. It also was the first time I'd ever seen 4K images on a TV. My number 10 is Gladiator. I tell you what, I've never been so fascinated with staring at grass and the back of someone's hand in all my life and it's a good film as well Ridley Scott directed it obviously one of Russell Crowe's best performances it's pretty long but you don't really care it's a good film it's very very good 4k considering it's quite old um, but you know it just goes to show that films that are shot on film usually have the better transfers so at number 11 I've picked out my two favourite Stanley Kubrick 4K Blu-rays 2001 and The Shining I'll probably put The Shining above 
2001 mainly because I love the film of The Shining and I find 2001 a little bit boring but 2001 2001's better looking than The Shining but I would have said The Shining was the better film that's one of the reasons why they both go under the same number they're both incredible to watch in 4k 2001 is literally one of the best 4k films I've ever seen in my entire life hence why it's on this list right up there amazing transfer amazing colors all around for both of them the red coming out of the elevator in the shining everything in 2001 you've got some pretty awesome amazing stuff there my favorite movie of all time comes in at number eight the elephant man best black and white 4k film i've ever seen considering how old it is as well made like early 80s by so good amazing amazing in black and white amazing details and it's an amazing film as well obviously otherwise it wouldn't be at the top of my top films list number seven the film that a lot of people that do top 4k lists i'm pretty sure would put this in their top 4k list my number seven is joker smashing it in right there everybody knows about joker if you haven't seen it by now it's probably because you haven't watched it but yeah looks good i'm pretty sure i've done a review for this before if not i will find out when i've released this video that i haven't done a review for it and stick it on my review list so you either already know what i think about this or you're going to find out pretty soon what i think about this but all in all there's joker for number six we have christopher nolan i've got dark knight Tenet, Dunkirk and Interstellar all in there at number six they all look amazing out of all of the Christopher Nolan films I have in 4k these are probably the four that in my opinion they look the best out of all of his films Dark Knight Rises probably could be on this list as well but I went with one from the trilogy and it obviously wasn't going to be Batman Begins because that looks terrible in 4K. Number seven, we have Jurassic Park. Just the first one, mainly because the first one blew me away. I thought the other two were pretty shocking compared to the first one. The other two are still good in 4K, but the first one is that good. My number four is the John Wick trilogy. Mainly, you know what I think about the John Wick trilogy. The films as well as the 4k transfers if you've seen that video some of the best colors a lot of these next few are all about the colors so you'll probably hear me say the word color quite a lot in the next few minutes but john wick definitely up there with those colors the number three i've gone with the middle earth franchise three lord of the rings three hobbits or technically six of each depending on how you look at it but these are some of the most incredible 4k i've ever seen in my life the hobbit looks absolutely incredible in 4k a lot of people would say they didn't like the hobbit and that it was pointless they took one book and stretched it out over three films i still enjoyed the hobbit i still think they probably could have made it into two films but it's not a trilogy if it's two films is it so they like to rake in that money don't they and the Lord of the Rings, obviously, a trilogy that everybody in the world loves, except for me. Number two is the MonsterVerse franchise. Godzilla, Kong Skull Island, Godzilla, King of Monsters, and obviously Godzilla vs. Kong. Uh, Story-wise, I would have said Godzilla vs. Kong and godzilla king of the monsters were both the biggest load of crap i've ever seen in my life but visual wise and that's why they're on this list because the visual wise these are literally well obviously they're at the top of my favorite 4ks so if you love visual amazingness if you love every single color you've ever heard of in your entire life then you got these four very very amazing 4k i'll tell you that next you've got my number one which as you all know my number one is the one below my one at the top my one at the top is the number zero but my number one i'd say was spider-man into the spider-verse animated as well so obviously there's going to be those extra colors in there i love the way this film was animated as well 
as you probably know because I've done a review for this before and probably talked about this film more than once before but it definitely goes right to the top of my top 4k list and coming in at number zero my best most favorite 4k film of all time and this might shock quite a lot of you because I don't think a lot of you will be expecting me to bring this one out but so far at the moment right at the top of the most amazing 4k films I've ever seen in my entire life that goes to, to Aquaman I'm holding both here because I've got both of them, I've got the British version and I've got the full uncut and uncensored US version, I've got this imported just because I wanted the uncensored shots just because I'm really sad, I just love it, like I've said before for some of the others literally every colour you've ever heard of plus another million colours that you've never heard of all pop out in this movie, it's a good film as well, a bit generic story wise but it's an origin story and I find that a lot of origin stories for superheroes usually turn out to be a little bit generic I don't know if you guys have seen Batman but those stories get a bit generic and Spider-Man the amount of times I've seen the same story over and over again just for the same character so at least it's a different character some people would say it's like Black Panther underwater which is fine because Black Panther was shit this was this was good so very very exciting amazing 4k film if you haven't seen it watch it in 4k if you haven't got 4k tv find someone that has and watch it on their 4k tv as long as you don't come around my house that's fine that's my top 15 4k list for you there those 31 films on there so that's quite exciting um but that's it that's it for today i'll get this video out this evening for you i'll be back with a christopher nolan video for you on wednesday and there'll be another book versus film for you on Friday uh, get close to the end of them just so you know just in case you guys are like Ugh, book versus film I don't care about books Ugh. but there's not many of them left so don't freak out all right if you could like this video and if you could subscribe to the channel that'd be amazing I will see you again soon all right goodbye